What's up, everybody? I'm Thomas J. Belize, and welcome to another session, another lesson, another video from the right mindset. Today, we are going to go over uh, writing prompts uh, for epic fantasy. Specifically, these writing prompts will writing prompts prompts will help uh, you build stronger worlds. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's hit that intro because we got to do the intro. You know, you got to brand. If you haven't already and yeah, I really want to, uh, maybe you're a beginner, uh, an advanced writer, author, screenwriter, whatever you are. If you like lessons on craft, if you like analyzing and reviewing storytelling, and if you like interviews with fellow writers, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Let's get right into it. Crafting strong fantasy worlds. Imagine, if you will, standing at the edge of a vast an uncharted realm, a canvas where the only limit is the scope of your imagination. There is... This is where epic fantasy truly begins. The crafting of a world that lives and breathes on the pages of your story. But what does it mean to create a strong fantasy world? It's essential to recognize that this task is not merely a writing exercise. It's a profound commitment. Oh, yes. See, it's an ongoing journey akin to tending a garden or nurturing a lifelong friendship. Your fantasy world will grow, evolve, and transform over time, much like the characters and stories within it. As a creator, that's you, you're not just an author. You're a custodian, a guardian of the realm. I just want you to know there is there's no single uh, perspective path to building a compelling fantasy world. There are no rules etched in stone, no universal blueprint. But what counts is that every element you conceive from the ground cause morology to the tiniest details of daily life serves your new unique creative vision. The essence of your world should be woven into every word, every sentence every page it should resonate with your themes your characters and your storytelling goals so in this lesson we'll delve into the very essence of world building we'll explore how cultures histories and mythologies entwine intertwine to breathe life into your world we'll discuss the intricate balance of magic systems geography and technology that shapes your setting and most importantly We'll celebrate the freedom to create, to explore, and to use your imagination. Your fantasy world is boundless, limited only by the horizons of your creativity. So fellow creators, as you embark on this epic journey, remember that there's no right or wrong way to build your fantasy world. What matters is that you infuse in this fantasy world your passion, your vision, and your imagination. So together we'll embrace the boundless possibilities of storytelling. Let's Check out these five writing prompts. Okay, here at the heart of our epic fantasy journey lie the keys to unlock the doors of imagination. These are writing prompts. Think of them as uh, ancient ornent keys, uh, each fitted and unique locks within the vast chambers of your creativity. Use these prompts. Uh, but in a way where they are not mere exercises, but they are invitations to embark on adventures through the uncharted territories of your mind. I feel uh, uh, they are designed with the express purpose of challenging your creativity. These prompts act as catalysts, igniting the fires of inspiration. They are your guides into the unexplored landscapes, cultures, and characters that reside within the depths of your fantasy world. <laughs> so with each prompt, you're not just putting words to paper, my friend. Oh, no. 
No, you're breathing life into a new facet of your world. Uh, you'll traverse landscapes unknown, meet characters both enchanting and enigmatic, and weave stories that resonate with the very soul of your realm. So, fellow writers, as you engage, let's do it. They're just here to spark you. You can take them and run. You can play with them. But the idea is to just get your brain thinking. In fact, you can change all the names, places, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, number one is the lost city of Eldoran. Oh, wait. Let's put the screen up. Let's put the screen up. What are you doing, Thomas? What are you doing? You're slacking, dacking. Lack of slacking. Dack of slacking, dacking. Slackin', dacking, 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 dacking. Okay. The lost city of Eldoran. In a sprawling desert. Oh wait, we'll we'll, we'll get there. All right, number two, we'll, we'll read. Ooh, the elemental kingdoms. <laughs> All right, next, the floating isles of Etheria. Ooh, how about the enchanted forests? Forest of whispering trees, and finally. The Infinite Library of Lumi L Lumina Lumina Lumina. I guess Lumina Lumina Lumina. Yeah, because that's Enlightenment Lumina. All right. Feel free to adapt and expand upon those prompts to suit your world building needs. So let's go back to the top one. Let's take a look at this first prompt, shall we? Okay. Now, we want to understand the nuances of each prompt uh, and how it will empower you to use them effectively and unlock uh, full potential. So uh, let's just read this. In a sprawling desert, there's said to be an ancient city, Eldar, hidden beneath the shifting sands. Ooh. This city was once known for its unparalleled wisdom and magical prowess. So write about a group of adventurers who embark on a, a perilous a journey to find Eldoran, facing sandstorms, mythical creatures, and riddles that guide its secrets. So uh, this uh, setting enrichment, the pro this prompt immediately immerses you in a specific setting, a sprawling desert. Okay. doesn't have to be a desert planet. It could just be a desert. Uh, deserts are often associated with harsh conditions, right? scarcity of resources, and a test of survival. Uh, the desert itself becomes a character in itself, influencing the character's decisions and actions. Mysterious lore, huh? Eldoran is described as an ancient city known for unparalleled wisdom and magical prowess. This adds depth to your world's history and suggests that there's more to discover beyond the surface. Oh, maybe even so in your characters. Because the city's past and its magical abilities invite curiosity, creating a sense of wonder and intrigue. Character development. Oh, the group of adventurers. Group of adventurers forms the core of your story. Each character can belong to different races, or I like to say species. Uh, species, because, uh, you know, like if you say, let's say you're in the fantasy realm, as soon as you say elves, that's not a race. That's a species. <laughs> that is a species. Um, if you say humans, that is a species. If you say ogres, that is a species. If you say troll, that is a species. So um, uh, each character can belong to different species, backgrounds, and possess unique skills or motivations. Uh, their interactions and growth as they face challenges in the desert and within Eldoran can drive your narrative. It definitely can. Uh, there should be obstacles in conflict. The perilous, the perilous journey introduces various obstacles, such as sandstorms, mythical creatures, and riddles. Riddle me this, Batman. These challenges not only provide opportunities for action and excitement, but also allow you to showcase your world's magical and mythical aspects. Mm. It's a chance to explore the creatures and magic unique to your world. So... The other thing is the uncovering of secrets. The adventurers, your group of people, seek Elderon's secrets. This quest naturally leads to discovery, uh, discoveries about the city's history, its fall, and its magical legacy. I could already see it in my head. These revelations can have far-reaching consequences in your world and add layers of complexity to your plot. By analyzing this plot, this prompt, you can see how it weaves elements of setting lore, characters, obstacles, and secrets. These are essential components of any epic fantasy world building. Now, 
So if you take this prompt as your choice, just keep in mind, you could change everything. So if you have your own worlds already, even if it's in space, let's be honest, it doesn't matter where it is. It could be on Earth. Elderon could be, you know, the lost city of Atlantis or uh, the lost city in the Amazon or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so take this chance to kind of look at it. And and basically, as I'm as I broke it down for you, you know, there is uh, un uncovering secrets. There's obstacles and conflicts based on the environment alone. Uh, there's character potential, and you could want. I would I would have a minimum of at least three characters, uh, just to kind of get you going. There's mystical lore. You can obviously change all that. If there's no magic in your world, it could be whatever else you want. It could be divinity. It could be whatever. Uh, and let the desert itself become a character. Now I'm going to scroll down to the other one so we can you can look at them and uh, you could use it as a prompt. So the elemental kingdoms. Your world is divided into five elemental kingdoms, <laughs> each ruled by a powerful elemental lord. Create a character who can manipulate one of these elements and describe their quest to master their power while navigating the political intrigues and conflict between these elemental realms. Now, obviously, Avatar uh, was made, but you could change it. You, in fact, you don't even have to make the elements, uh, the five elements that we know, earth, fire, wind, wind. You can make them different elements, you know. It's up to you. It's up to you. All right, so there it is. There it is. Obviously, you could pause the video to hold it on. Number three. The Floating Isles of Etheria. Etheria is a realm comprised of floating isles suspended in the sky, accessible only by airships. Woo! Uh, craft a story about a daring airship ca captain and their diverse crew as they explore the mysteries of Etheria, discovering hidden civilizations and untold treasures. That's intriguing. If you like... Um, steampunk that might be your your choice all right the enchanted forest of whispering trees what oh let me branch out onto this one. Ooh, did they bark orders i mean jesus let me get to the root of the problem in a secluded forest every tree possesses unique power from healing wounds to revealing hidden truths tell the tale of a young mage who ventures into this forest seeking a cure for a deadly plague sweeping their homeland oh well the trees whisper ancient secrets Whoa. nice okay number five the infinite library of lumina 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 is a library that exists outside of time and space whoa containing books that chronicle every event that ever happened or will happen in your world Write about a scholar who gains access to this library and their conquest to decipher a cryptic tomb Tome, tome, that uh, tome, tome, uh, that could change the fate of the world. Now, just keep in mind that if it has, <laughs> if the book chronicles every event that ever happened in great detail, you might find out uh, uh, how one of your favorite characters uh, uh, were born through the. Um, how they were conceived. And you might not want to read that part because who wants to watch two people going at it, especially if they're older. Of course, they probably weren't older when they conceived the character, but, you know, give them some private time. So you might want to skip over that. Just you know. anyway, those are the five. That's it. All right. That was kind of fun, actually. Uh, what happened? Oh, I did that backwards. Five epic. Oh, I gave you that. Oh, we did the. We did that. I forgot to hit this when I read the uh, the breakdown where I was like, "Yeah, setting enrichment." Okay, anyway, let's do the final thought. Sorry, mastering the. Oh, I don't need. I, I can go back up. Beep. Okay. <laughs> Stop sharing. All right, mastering the craft of fantasy world building. Well, listen, as we wrap up this lesson, remember that writing prompts aren't about crafting your next epic novel. They're exercises. But however, as you work out for your writer's brain and pushing beyond your comfort zone, you want to embrace these prompts as opportunities to hone your craft, to expand your horizons, and to scope your world within 
ever-increasing detail. Just as your mm, fantasy world is a constant state of evolution, so are you as a writer. Don't let the vastness of the task overwhelm you. Instead, relish the journey of creation and let your imagination soar. Because together, we'll continue to explore the limitless realms of storytelling. A couple of things before you really get into it. Uh, you know, I just want you to know that it's, it's uh, you know, if you want to put it towards your world and use it as something to inspire you, great. That's awesome. If you just want to use it as sort of like writing a short story or even a three-page story, or maybe even just why don't you use it to plot, you know, practice plotting. If, 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 if you want to, if you are a plotter, if you've been trying to get into plotting, you just use it to use the 27 plot point outline template and uh, see what you can do. But uh, number one, you know, writing prompts are exercises in general. And, you know, but I want to emphasize that these writing prompts are like workouts for a writer's brain. They serve to push writers beyond their usual comfort zones, encouraging them to think creatively and critically. All right. Rem you got to remind yourself that these uh, these are just like any other fantasy world, and they are in constant state of evolution. You know, your goal is to kind of build rich and immersive fantasy worlds with the least amount of information. You know, like right now, I just gave you a little prompt. You know what I'm saying? You know. Um, but anyway, uh, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boo! All right. So, but ultimately what I'm saying is just use these to kind of like uh, get yourself thinking or maybe you're stuck in your own writing. You know, you're like, I don't know where to go with my book, right? Uh, and that doesn't make you a bad writer either. You know, writer's block doesn't make a writer bad. Uh, everyone gets writer's block. Except for me because I'm awesome. No, just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Who's Batman? Um, so... Uh, just use it to kind of spark some ideas. There's five options. Um, honestly, if you're not even fantasy, if you're anything, you could just use these kind of like, just take out the magic and put in like love if it's romance or whatever, you know, do whatever you want to do. It's all fun and games. That's what I tell people. All right, next in the video series. Um, ooh, the next writing prompts for epic fantasy will be unconventional settings. Uh, will uncover unique and unexpected environments for your tales, like abandoned amusement parks, or, or maybe a senta, a sentient forest, or something of the other. Who knows where we'll go? Oh, I have a question for you. Uh, this is now. Now here is a question uh, for fantastic, for your fa for fantas fantastic audience like yourself. Right? Uh, what's the most intriguing aspect of world building in epic fantasy for you? Is it creating unique cultures, designing magical systems, or is it something else entirely? Let me know in the comments below. All right. And finally, if you liked what you watched and you've not done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. That's it. As always, keep developing the right mindset. I'll see you next time. Appreciate you.